Hello guys, today's draw is kind of a continuation from the last tutorial where we changed the camera to that itself to multiple screens. In today's tutorial, we're going to change the UI so the text to that itself to multiple screens as well, to multiple resolutions. And as you can see here, I got here a screen, the main menu that you'll have a title. We got this is not from the main menu, this is imagine you have a currency in the game, whatever. And you got here some buttons and some more buttons, and I'm going to show you two techniques that, of course, you can use separately or mixed together to make your UI adapt to multiple screens. So right now, if I, I move this around, the text and the buttons stay the same size. And for instance, that the, that little currency thing, this this thing over here disappears. So without further to say, let me start on the first technique. And the first technique is to go onto the canvas or and add a component to it, which is a canvas scaler. So, and uh, I change this to scale with screen size. And you have here a bunch of uh, things to change. I usually stay, leave this the same way. And I, I usually change this a little bit to whatever I want. But um, what this does is that it changes the, the screen, the, the scale of the UI with the screen, so say if the screen goes smaller, the UI gets smaller and if the screen, the screen goes bigger, the UI goes bigger you can make it scale completely with the height, completely with the width or somewhere in between in this case, you can, if you put it completely to the width it will work correctly, since the kind of correctly, since the as you can see, the it gets a big distance from the top, so if we're playing a game like on a mobile, it will get like this instead of looking cool like like if it was landscape. But at least the coins always appear because we have here this with the width, uh, con totally controlled by the width. But if you don't control it only by the width, sometimes the coins disappear. So this this is why I don't use this a lot. This is just like a quick way to get things to scale kind of correctly. I'm going to show you the second way and so I'm going to deactivate this to show you the second way and that is using the anchors that Unity UI has built in with itself so let me show you here on the screen so you got your canvas in the canvas we built all of this stuff and if I click on any of these elements for instance the title you can see that the title has this little angles over here which is the anchor and what this uh, basically means, and I'll, I'll put by the way, I'll put a link on the description that tells, explain this uh, well, is each of these corners will remain at the same uh, distance from here, from the other corner, and from this corner. So this is a reference so that this corner over here of this UI will remain always the same according to this. And as you can see, as I do this, the value appears there and, and here as well that kind of tell you that the percentages are always the same so for instance if I move the screen like so you'll see that the percentage is always the same there's always this distance from here to here and there's also this distance from here to here and from here to here and to the other corners the same uh, thinking applies as you can see as you, the distance is always the same in percentage and, which, and this basically lets you lets the text be always uh, uh, more more so where you want it, except when weird stuff like this happens. But this is just because you sometimes also have to go onto the text and change stuff as the as the best fit to make it fit even in the worst of situations. Yeah, so this way it will always be there appear there the text as you can see, and that's cool. And you can apply the same handles to any other button so as you can see uh, these buttons now are a bit uh, up a bit uh, should be a bit more down so I'll put them down and I put the handles right there and the same thing for the settings button I put the handles roughly where the button is you, of course you can also put them here you put them wherever you want but I, this is usually what I do so that basically the, the anchors define where the that where the button is and you'll see that now it, it scales correctly as well of course there's some limit situations where that doesn't happen and like I said 
you can always check if best fit is is turned on so that the button appears correctly and of course you can scale this as you want whatever and by the way uh, we oops sometimes this bug happens uh, don't mind it anyways some uh, we change the handles of the button but the setting which is the text inside of the button also has these handles relative to the button so basically there's anchors these handles are anchors that are relative to its parent and that's how, it, how this works now also for these buttons let me just change this to a good size like so also to the buttons over here I can do the same thing put the anchors for instance in here Oops, like so and the car for instance the images it's very important that you set preserved aspect so that they, you don't have a distorted image and of course you can also do put them roughly where it's the limits that you want them to go so you'll see that right now that images that um, the car scales correctly just like you wanted and it scales to any screen and the only thing that's left to kind of explain is what if you don't you don't want to center it like though like this you want to center it from the from the right or the left because right now if I hide the screen if I shrink the screen the the currency no longer appears so to make it appear it's very simple you drag this image and put it onto here and then you go to the anchors and select the anchor from the right and as if I scale it the as you can see the rupee always appears on the right but of course it doesn't scale correctly from the height yet and that's because the anchor is right there when it should be exactly where the rupee is so if I change this anchor around here like so you'll see you can also put them like so but this way they won't scale with size but if this way this way they will scale with size as you can see it's not scaling very well but it's scaling of course like I said always make sure that preserve aspect is turned to true so that you don't deal with problems like that and of course if you want this text to stick to that all you have to do is to is also you can also do the same thing or you can simply just make it a job of it and it, as you'll see it will continue it will follow it no matter what and as you can see if I change to any resolution right now aside from this button which I didn't made anything on it scales like it's supposed to. I can just change this button as well do the same stuff that I do the other ones so kind of like so smaller like the car and make the house preserve aspect but be smaller than the edges and like so we made a, uh, a UI that is scalable with that changes with the aspect ratio so if I put like so it will be seen and it will always work as you can see you can put like so like so whatever it will always work and that was it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you in the next one.